I started using Legos because when I was in kindergarten and I was graduating to become a first grader summer school at a boys and girls club, I fell off the bleachers there and I fell straight on my left arm and I fractured it and I was doing therapy for my left arm and they suggested that I use Legos. The thing I like the most about Legos is that there's endless possibilities of what you can do. My name is Daniel. I help my father with his YouTube channel, The Magnificent World of Toys. I am a collector, a gamer, and a bit of an artist. Pretty much ever since I was born, I remember I used to play with animal toys. Usually when I was little, what I would do was I, I would get my toys, put them in little lines across the floor, pretty much making like a parade. I got the inspiration to do that because of the scene from The Jungle Book where all the elephants are marching and the elephant rave from Dumbo. Mainly I collect Jurassic World toys. I usually just collect the things that I like from the line, but I'm trying to collect everything right now just so I can have a complete collection. I also collect Skylanders. I, or I originally started collecting them when I was eight years old. I remember my cousin, he got them for his birthday and I saw how it was cool, how you would put the toy on the portal that it came with and it would pretty much just teleport onto the TV and into the game where you can play as that character. And I also did collect Legos when I was little. I used to just build the sets, take them apart, and then build things, and I'm still doing that to this day. I, I also draw a lot. I have three sketchbooks that are full already because I barely just started getting s sketchbooks, but even back then I used to just get little papers I could find and draw on them. What I do too with these is I take one out and, and just look at it, get a piece of paper and draw it out just to keep practicing. I like to draw creatures and robots. I also get this big bin right here of Legos. Just look through all the parts and then think of something to build and build it. I used to watch Alien and Jurassic Park when I was little. I remember my dad, he would get his big projector, he would put it on a wall, and we would just watch movies. I remember the first time I ever saw Jurassic Park, I was just so thrilled seeing, seeing an actual dinosaur on TV. I just got won over by it immediately. I also liked Alien because it was a very cool and darker version of Star Wars. I kind of like dark things, like horror, scary things, but it's the one that I really like the most and also because of the detail of the aliens. And the usual aliens you see are, they have like that big head, they're a gray color and they're, they have those big black eyes. But these ones brought a whole new meaning to Alien. You know, like they, lay, they laid eggs in your chest, they would pop out and I just really like the way they look. For Overwatch, I just really like how the characters are so diverse and unique. My two favorite toys are right now, my Reinhardt figure, he's just like this big tank that has this big shield to protect his team members, and he has a pretty cool hammer where he could boost and hit things harder with it, and my Brachiosaurus right here, because it's pretty much the first dinosaur I've ever seen on the TV and I, I actually like these type of dinosaurs, they're called sauropods. They have like those long necks and, and the brachiosaurus is one of them and also people call me a brachiosaurus too because of my height. For drawing, I'm inspired by Jonan Vasquez. He's the creator of Invader Zim. I just like his art style and like 
his his dark humor. I've seen the 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 Invader Zim movie on Netflix countless times because I enjoy his characters. They're they're nice and funny and cool. For Legos, I'm inspired by a YouTuber. His name is Chubby Bots. He creates robots, and sometimes I just watch a video, use some of his techniques on my robots. I like to see how they turn out. For collecting Jurassic Park, I'm inspired by another YouTuber. His name is the Gaming Beaver. He's he's a, he's from the UK. He has a large collection of Jurassic Park, and I just see him and I think. Okay, this guy collects and he's pretty famous, so I'm, I don't think people would think I'm weird for doing it. I've been inspired for sculpting by all artists we've interviewed so far. Um, I really like their diverse ideas and seeing their cool little sculptures. Like in real life, I'm also inspired by Ray Harryhausen and a YouTuber's name is Ace of Clay. Right now I'm trying to sculpt Pazuzu, he's, he's, a, he's a character from The Exorcist and the only reason I started sculpting him was because one of my favorite bands, Gorillaz, has him as like a weird character. I also made this character, I just thought of something. I kind of got inspired by Yoda from Star Wars and then I, I saw my Brachiosaurus. I just gave Yoda like a big body, a long tail and a really long neck. What I've liked the most about working on the Magnificent World Toys is just going on an adventure with my dad because there's not too much of time I'm going to have with that because I'm about to go to high school and college too. I also like meeting many different people that we have on the show. We've seen a lot of people here and all of them I really like and I consider them as friends. My favorite three things I've seen while helping film the magnificent world of toys are. I remember when we went to go film an artist named Creature Kid. He had like this big armature of the King Kong. It was like a copy. The second thing I liked the most was the techno drum owned by Jack Grimmett because I'm also kind of a fan of Ninja Turtles. I don't have a lot of the figures. I only have a figure of Slash, Dog Pound, and Fish Face, which are my favorite characters. And the, the third and last one, Saul Hortado, he had this knight armor. I always thought knights are cool. That's why I got the Reinhardt figure. I would like to have a collection of art books. I, I, I just like seeing the sketches of the artists and seeing their original ideas. I would also hope to try and get the old toy lines of Jurassic World, like the Kenner toy lines and the only good Hasbro toy line, which is Jurassic Park 3. There's a new line of Jurassic World toys. It's called the Primal Attack. There's only a few that I want. And also, what I'm trying to look for right now is a two-pack of two Overwatch characters called Genji and Hanzo. They're brothers. I also really like characters that have like a sibling or brother because I have a sibling. I just like to see characters who can relate. Recently what I've been trying to do because many people have influenced me saying oh you, you should do a comic but I, I don't really feel like it so what I'm trying to do is sketch all my characters I like to get all my sketches put them in a box and share them to either Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network I'll put a note on top of them saying I, I hope you guys can do something with this. If you're not going to do anything to it, can you please send it back if I can try again? And then I, I would just like to do it over and over again until I get a yes or a good answer. What I'm hoping to do is just turn on the TV, go onto the network that it's premiering on, just look for a commercial of my characters on that screen and just think I'm completed. I've done what I've been wanting to do for my entire life. Just seeing my characters alive, jumping and running, that, that's just gonna bring a few tears of happiness and a smile on my face. 
I think I always will like toys, mainly because I've pretty much been born with toys. Like, ever since I was born, I had toys of some kind. And I, I, I don't know, I just can't feel comfortable having an empty shelf without something sitting on there. 